Jim de Guzman, July 28, 2016. A fallen San Diego police officer honored, his name unveiled on a police memorial today. And tonight in a 10 News exclusive, the widow of Jonathan de Guzman opens up about life after his murder. In her first one on one interview, Jane de Guzman shares with 10 News reporter Melissa Masiha why she's finally ready to speak about her heartbreaking loss. This was one of the tougher interviews I've done really impossible for me to hold back tears. Jane and JD met here in San Diego shortly after they both moved here from the Philippines. Since then, they worked hard to build a life for their family until a gunman took it all away. It's been almost a year. Never shots fired. A year since Jonathan JD de Guzman died, just trying to make our community safer for families like his. 47 yellow, it's gonna be a code 12. Yeah. Now Jane de Guzman surrounded with memories in a room that gives her comfort, but at times reminds her of her pain. And the last word I heard to him is, I love you and I love you too. I think that's the most important thing you have to say to someone. Because you never know. You have, yeah, you never know. Theirs is a love story many immigrant families know, coming to the U.S. with little in their pockets, but hearts full of hope. Hope fulfilled when J.D. joined the San Diego Police Department. He takes his job seriously. Did he ever talk to you about the dangers that he faces? Oh, yeah, yeah. He never shared exactly what he faced day in and out. J.D. didn't want to scare her. All he wants is to go home. And that's something he told you a lot. Always, always, always. All I want is to go home hun, and be with the family. July 28th. Jane still can't explain why that day she held on a little longer. Longer hugs, longer kisses. I kissed him three times in that morning. It was the last time she saw her husband alive. Jane at home got a news alert on her phone about the shooting. So I've been texting him, calling him, hun, are you okay? And are you okay? No answer. He's going home. He's going home because he promised me he's going home that night. She was still clutching her phone when Chief Zimmerman knocked on her door. A wife whose heart, once so full of hope, now broken. Kids, what will happen to my kids? How will I do it? The answer she found out with love from friends, JD's brothers and sisters in blue, and people she's never met. I have this community that I don't even know who's praying for us. Making sure her family isn't forgotten. A special escort to school for Amira's birthday. JD's fellow officers stepping in to bring his princess to her dance. I feel really thankful for them because they're helping me go through those things that I already did with my dad, but he couldn't do it this year. As Amira prepares for middle school and Jed for college, a heartfelt thank you. I'm not a strong person, but because of them, I became one. They're surviving because of you. Melissa Masiha, 10 News.